Hi, this is Navmata, Assistant Professor from KSA College of Arts and Science for Women in the Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. Now we are going to see about data structures of Python Unit 4. So here we are going to see about what is tree data structure. A Python tree is a data structure in which data items are connected using references in a hierarchical manner in the form of edges and nodes. Each tree consists of root node from which we can access the elements of the tree. Starting from the root node, each node contains zero or more nodes connected to it as children. A tree consists of root node, leaf node and internal nodes. So each node is connected to its children via reference which is called an edge. So the next is the binary tree. Binary tree is a form of tree whose nodes cannot have more than two children. Each node of the binary tree has two pointers associated with it. One points to the left child and other points to the right child of the node. It is an unordered tree having no fixed organized structure for the arrangement of nodes. Binary tree is slow for the searching, insertion or deletion of the data because of its unordered structure. The time complexity of these operations is order of n. The next is tree traversal algorithm. Traversal is a process to visit all the nodes of a tree and may print their values too. Because all the nodes are connected via edges, we always start from the root node. So we cannot randomly access a node in a tree. So there are three ways which we use to traverse a tree. In-order traversal, pre-order traversal and post-order traversal. So the in, in this in-order traversal method, the left subtree is visited first, then the root and then the later the right subtree. In the pre-order traversal, the root node is visited first, then the left subtree and finally the right subtree. In the post-order traversal, the root node is visited last. Uh, first, we traverse the left subtree, right subtree and finally the root node. The next is the binary search tree. Binary search tree is BST. is a type of binary tree which is in ordered form. So, it has fixed organized structure for the arrangement of nodes. So, the structure follows the following rules. Right child of the node, left child of the node must have a value less than its parent's value. So, uh, same, the right side of the node must have greater than its parent value. So, BST is faster than a binary tree in, in the searching, insertion or deletion of the data because of its ordered structure. So, the time complexity is order of log n. Next, the search for a value in a B tree. So, searching for a value in a tree involves comparing the incoming value with the value existing nodes. Here also we traverse the nodes from left to right and then finally with the parent. If the search for the value does not match of the any existing value, then we return not found message. The next is AVL tree. The full form of AVL tree is Adelson, Velsicky and Lancy, also known as height binary tree. AVL tree is a height balanced tree where the difference between the heights of the right subtree and left subtree of every node is either minus 1, 0 or 1. The difference between the heights of the subtree is maintained by a factor named as balanced factor. There are two categories of rotation which are further divided into two further parts. So single rotation, double rotation. The single rotation switches the roles of the parent and child while maintaining the search order. We rotate the node and its child, the child becomes a parent. So single left left rotation, single right right rotation. The next is the double rotation. Single rotation does not fix the LR rotation and RL rotation. That is left right rotation and right left rotation. For this we require double rotation involving three nodes. Therefore double rotation is equivalent to the sequence of two single rotations. LR left right rotation, RL right left rotation. The next is the heap tree. Heap is a special tree with a tree structure in which each parent node is less than or equal to its child node. Then it is called a min, hap, min heap. If each parent node is greater than or equal to its child node, then it is called max heap. Heaps are binary trees for which every parent node has a value less than or equal to any of its children. So the implementation uses arrays. For the sake comparison, non-existing elements are considered to be infinite. The next is a multi-way search trees. 
multi-way search trees are a generalized version of binary trees that allow for efficient data searching and sorting in contrast to binary search trees which can only have two children per node the next is b trees an extension of a multi-way search tree of order m is a b tree of order m this type of tree will be used when the data to be accessed or stored is located on secondary storage devices because they allow for large amount of data to be stored in a node a b tree of order m is multi-way search tree in which the root at has at least two subtrees unless it is the only node in the tree each non root and each non leaf node have at most m non empty children and at least m by 2 non empty children the number of keys in each non root and each non leaf node is 1 less than the number of its non empty children all leaves are on the same level so i think you have understood about the trees concept so thank you